Okay, I'm getting ready to glue this thing together, but I thought I'd go over something real quick. First of all, I just wanted to show you this. I hope you can see it. But the way I skived in this piece, so it'll fit more flush against this piece. You can see the way the inside piece tapers. And I think that just looks better that way. It looks more finished. It's one of those little details that I keep harping on about. Also, I'm getting ready to glue all this stuff together. Let me find something real quick here. But before I did that, I have to make sure that everything that I want attached before I glue, to get, glue it together is attached. This piece and this piece needed to be stitched on before this went together because as you can tell, those stitches would be kind of hard to get to once it's put together. Also, since right this is the inside of a knife sheath, I took my stitch groover and I grooved where the stitch lines went on the inside, on here and on here. I could use the guide on here and on there because that's straight. But what I like about this stitch groover is I could take the guide off and then freehand it. Now what I did is I punched the stitch holes first and then I just used my groover to play connect the dots. That recesses the, uh, the thread pretty much flush with the surface of the leather or, or just a little bit under. What that does is as the knife goes in and out, it doesn't rub on those stitches and it's less apt to catch on the stitches. And that should make it last longer. Now before, also before I applied this and this, I had to finish this piece. So this piece is actually finished. I, it's top coated. I used hand coat as well as this piece is completely finished inside and out on the front side and the back. This is finished all the way down this strap here. On this piece, I have not done a finish on this part yet, but I did do a finish on this part. This stud, I had to punch a hole and I put um, thread lock on it to help prevent it from coming loose. Next up, I'm going to glue all this together. I'm not going to show that because it's pretty basic. I just take my contact cement, put some on here, put some on here, give them five to 10 minutes, usually about 10 minutes or so, and stick them together. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put some glue on this, and glue on this, and stick those together. Let that dry, and then we can get to stitching these two pieces together.